Over the last decade, Louis C.K. transitioned from a moderately successful stand-up into one of the world's most recognizable comedians. But while he frequently mines his personal life for comedic gold both on stage and on his acclaimed TV series Louis, there's probably a lot about the comic you don't know about. Here's a look at the untold truth of Louis C.K. C.K. is actually his last name. If you were wondering what the initials CK stand for, we've got your answer. CK's family name, which he got from his Mexican-Hungarian dad, is CK. As you can imagine, the unusual name caused lots of problems with misspellings and mispronunciations, so Louis altered it slightly from CK to CK, so it would be easier for fans to both spell and say. Thanks, Louis. He holds dual citizenship. Though he was born in Washington, D.C., Louis CK moved with his family to Mexico City while he was still a baby. At the age of seven, the family returned to the United States, settling in the suburbs of Boston, Massachusetts, where CK struggled to fit in because he spoke Spanish much better than English. I came to America as a little Mexican boy. Right. This is part of my history. Right. It was coming to America. America is muy bonito. I was a little Mexican boy. These days, CK says that while he's mostly forgotten his native tongue, he still holds dual citizenship in both Mexico and the United States and has a Mexican passport. Muy bien. He went to school with Matt LeBlanc. The chipper laugh tracks of Friends seems worlds away from the darkly realistic comedy of Louis, but the shows share a common bond, as CK actually went to school with Friends star Matt LeBlanc. The two were classmates in elementary school, junior high, and high school, both graduating from North Newton High in 1985. Small world. He's a cult filmmaker. Before he became a household name as a stand-up comedian, Louis CK started his showbiz career as an accomplished cult film director, his first mini flick, Trash Day, is an oddball romp about garbage thieves. CK's follow-up, Caesar Salad, got him on the festival circuit, while Ice Cream screened at Sundance and earned him an award at the Alpine Film Festival, helping him break into TV as a writer. A later scripting gig with a Chris Rock show set up his first studio picture, Pootie Tang, a feature-length sketch starring the show's faux blaxploitation character. The comedian wrote and directed the picture, but met with heavy resistance from the studio. Paramount fired CK and recut the film, but it failed to find an audience, nearly killing his career in the process. Since then, however, the unusual movie has gained a cult following. Shooting the movie was a great time, but then they started coming and visiting and saying how great they thought it was, and that was really scary. Saturday Night Live shot him down. In 1993, Louis C.K. was one of a number of struggling stand-up comedians who got the chance of a lifetime and auditioned for Saturday Night Live. But while several of his fellow comics, including Sarah Silverman, Jay Moore, and Dave Attell, ended up landing gigs either writing for SNL or starring on the show, C.K. was passed over for a job. The story has a happy ending, though. Not only did the audition eventually lead to a job writing for Late Night with Conan O'Brien, C.K. has since gone on to host Saturday Night Live four times. Very honored, honestly, to be asked to host it. So thanks, and I'm glad you guys are here. Um, yeah, it's fine. Anyway. Uh... Charity Case. In 2011, CK released a stand-up special, Louis CK, live at the Beacon Theater through his website for five bucks. The internet-only performance netted him a cool million bucks. CK told Jimmy Fallon that he was uncomfortable earning that much money for the show, so he donated a quarter of a million dollars to charity. On another occasion, CK earned $50,000 for charity with an appearance on Jeopardy. Now that's a stand-up stand-up. Cue the deer and antelope. This is Kansas's state song. Louis. <laughs> Oh boy, uh, why did I ring in? <laughs> Dad time. After he split with his wife, Louis C.K. was faced with the challenge of trying to run a hit TV series while also sharing custody of their two children. His solution was simple. As the writer, producer, director, and star of Louis, C.K. can kind of make his own schedule. So he arranged it to only shoot episodes of the series on the days when his kids are with his ex-wife. Nice job, Dad. He knows how to fight. If you're thinking about going to a show to heckle CK, you might want to think again. CK is an avid boxer, explaining to Fresh Air host Terry Gross, when you're boxing, you have to think under pressure, and that's what stand-up is like. So it was a good kind of metaphorical training. Just how into boxing is CK? Well, he trained with former light welterweight title holder Mickey Ward, who is the subject of the Oscar-winning Mark Wahlberg film The Fighter. That's legit. Sexual harassment accusations. In 2015, Gawker published a report accusing Louis C.K. of sexual harassment against female comics. That led to a barrage of accusations and rumors led by Roseanne Barr, who alleged it was a widely known industry secret that C.K. was a creeper. She told the Daily Mail, 
These allegations have been leveled and talked about for years. I do not have first-hand knowledge, though I have heard women make these allegations. CK has mostly remained silent about the allegations, telling Vulture he lets his work speak for him. When asked about the allegations, he said, If you need your public profile to be all positive, you're sick in the head. I do the work I do, and what happens next, I can't look after. So my thing is that I try to speak to the work whenever I can, just to the work and not to my life. Thanks for watching. Click the grunge icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.